today because I've never vlogged. I don't know. I just kind of want to try it. So tell me how I do. It's a very nice day today. So that's very motivating. desperately needed to be done oh my gosh look at stony it's so sweet hi buddy i love seeing him just enjoy the backyard because last year we were in an apartment and he was just dying to be outside so sweet <laughs> So I've been going through this app recently called Through the Word, and it just kind of like takes you through certain books of the Bible. And right now I'm going through, I think it's called Principle and Law, and i um, going through the Exodus story right now. So I'm gonna do that with my coffee, and then we'll get ready for the day. Okay, so as I'm Putting a little bit of makeup on here, I wanted to talk about some of the cool little sustainable products that I've been using recently. I've been really trying to use a lot more sustainable um, products like makeup, shower items, and you know, just all throughout the home, like cleaning products. So I recently tried out, I've only used them a couple times, this shampoo and conditioner bar from High Bar. I'm gonna be posting a review on them on my Instagram in like a week or so. But so far, I love these things. Um, they're super easy to handle, like just the shape of them and like weirdly makes them super easy to use. But then I have also been trying out the Butter and Lye brand of their shampoo bars and their body bars, which I'm gonna be doing a Sarah Sustainable Reviews on them. Still need to do one of those, so look for that. But they have this really cool like exfoliator, like cloth almost. It's really cool because it's completely sustainable, you know, like made of natural materials and it's like, a really good exfoliator for your skin. So I just thought that was really different and cool. I've never seen that before. Also, I am on my period right now. So I have been trying out the Viv for your V, um, their new tampons, which they released not too long ago. The applicator is plant derived. Packaging is sustainable. Very, very cool. I am enjoying the opportunity to use tampons again because I usually use the Vib for Your V's period cup. I get pretty bad cramps like the first two days of my period. And honestly, it's, sometimes I feel like period cups make them worse. So it's been a really nice to like have a kind of sustainable, eco-friendly option to use um, for tampons. Come get a vlog of these cinnamon rolls. Okay. <laughs> If you're interested, you can use my code. Um, it's all linked below. I can get um, a little discount on Fit For Your V's products. Ian wanted me to show you his cinnamon rolls. Also, can I just freaking 
say, whoever recommended this to me, this is just like a pain reliever on Instagram. Thank you because my cramps have been so much less painful with this stuff. Like, don't know what's in it, but it works. We've got this upcycled skirt, this very old Madewell shirt, which I have not worn in a while. And some fun little white tennies. And uh, my favorite earrings, linked below. They're by Bad Kitty Hawaii. She is a small business owner in Hawaii and her jewelry is so freaking cute. And um, here's Stoney's outfit of the day. This blue leather collar. And that's pretty much it. Free balling today. We are headed to Habitat for Humanity restore they have secondhand furniture doors they have sinks cabinets all of that kind of big stuff and i love these places and there's actually two locations in denver we are looking for some like lo outdoor loungers for the backyard because it's summer now and we need somewhere to sit we moved in this house maybe six, seven months ago. And you know, we don't have much out there. And I'm also looking for a new back door, which I have just been dying for. But looking for a new door is actually very hard. Like I, I didn't realize that. Um, I just want to find a door with a window. A really big floor to ceiling window is ideal because the kitchen is really dark because that door doesn't have windows. But hey, we will just see. Let's go. There's only one of those lounger chairs and I really, I, won't, I need a set. That's okay, you know, it's always kind of hit or miss. But I took some measurements and might come back for a couple things. There was also a lot of beautiful, like big art frames. Some of them were originals. And I was talking to this woman for a while. She was so, so funny asking of her painting that she picked out. She was like, you're young. You look like you know art. How, how do you feel about this? <laughs> She was so cute. It was funny. Definitely a fun trip. Got me inspired. Gonna head back home now. So I forgot to say earlier, I found a staple gun for $3 at the uh, thrift store, Restore. And I think what I'm gonna do is recover our kitchen chairs. They're looking ratty. I thrifted these chairs like a long time ago and I've recovered them like three times now. So they just need a little love. Luckily, I have this giant roll of um, upholstery fabric that I'm going to use. Same fabric that's on there now, but um, just they just need a little freshen up for sure. That project quickly stopped when I didn't have the right size staples for my staple gun and Ian's staple gun that we apparently had is jammed and I have been literally sitting here trying to figure out for like probably the past hour. That is super fun. I'm so annoyed right now. I feel like going to the store and getting the right size staple would be like giving up. Like I don't want to go to the store and I already have the right size for the broken staple gun. <sighs> yep, I'm going to the store. So if they don't have the right size staples, I'm gonna quit. <laughs> We 
you guys. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it was meant to be going to the store because I stumbled upon this estate sale and just got a giant cooler, a randomly a butter dish, this mid-century chair, and that amazing batik fabric art piece for $45 for all of it. It was half off day today. Apparently today is the last day. I'm so excited. They're such cool pieces. Oh my gosh. Now I have some projects to do. I mean, look at this thing. It's in amazing condition. Like there's a little bit of fading on the fabric on the back and down here, but holy cow. Beautiful chair. Beautiful chair. Seriously, check this out. Like this is so cool so unique this is a real piece of art and i got it for super cheap now i can finally finish recovering my chairs <laughs> it is clean it is so clean i saw this on tiktok this guy i'll tag him here so funny he refinishes like thrifted furniture and stuff and i think i'm gonna take the 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 like piping curtain thing off of the bottom of the chair to make it look more modern kind of scared to try it because i have to cut it off and rip it off but we're gonna do it there's the skirt it worked. So let me just say this room is a wreck. It needs so, so much work. The only thing I've done here is paint. So this is where Ian works. Put the chair in here. I think it looks good. I think it looks really cool with the blue. And I was looking for a little bit of like small seating for in here because Ian put this massive far too large TV in here where he plays video games sometimes. So I figured that this chair would look really nice in here so we'll have to figure out the situation in here soon now i have no idea where i would actually put this where this would end up if it went in here i actually think it looks awesome like the colors all just like look really rich and nice together and with the chair they kind of go together the chair and this art piece wow i don't know what i'm gonna do <laughs> random dinner of corn on the grill and um, salad. <laughs> but I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. Oh, my phone is slowly falling. <laughs> um, let me know, okay. Let me know if you enjoyed this vlog. This was actually, it was really fun to uh, film and um, just let me know if you wanna see more of these and um, I appreciate you guys watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.